Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand union transformation in Azure Data Factory. So with practical we will try to understand how union transformation work in Azure Data Factory. So we have a business requirement. So let us first understand. We have a two CSV file. One is the Mumbai CSV file. Another is the Delhi CSV file that is available in a container. What we have to do? We have to combine these two CSV file and finally we have to store into the final uh, location that is our requirement means whatever the Mumbai CSV file Delhi CSV file you had we have right we have to union it and we have to finally store into the output location now one question can come like in joining transformation also we were doing the same activity like we were combining up two CSV file and finally we were storing into the final location now what is the difference between the joining and the union transformation and when we have to use a joint transformation and when we have to use a union transformation and it is a very much important interview question also what is the difference between the union and the joint transformation so it will all depend when actually we have to use a join and union transformation based on your data now first you look your data so this is my Mumbai file we have so we have a month we have a sales we have a profit we have a location so this is my Mumbai file now another file we have is like Delhi Delhi file in the daily if you will see we also have month sales profit location but the daily related data we have now when to use a join when to use a union whenever you have to combine your data on row wise you can see here after mumbai all the data what i have done i have combined the all the daily data this is the final output we have like all the mumbai related data and the after that we have a daily related data means row by row actually I have combined the data so union generally we use whenever you have to combine data based on your rows based on the rows if you want to combine your data you can use a union transformation now when actually we have to use a uh, join transformation in a join transformation we try to do a joining based on the columnar you can see here we had a employee id right here we have a user id so based on the employee id and user id we combine and the new column we have added so whenever you we have to combine based on the column then we will use a join transformation whenever you have to combine a row wise then you can use a union transformation now there are some criteria which you should remember when to use a union transformation so in union transformation the number of columns should be same so you have a two file right one is the mumbai file second is the delhi file so if you are combining these two file then the number of columns should be same so if in one csv file if we have four column then the daily also we should have a four column that is the one thing second thing is like the data type should be same so suppose here employee id is integer here employee id is a string now in this case if you will try to union it it will give error so data type also should be a same so these are the criteria you should remember now let's do a practical and let's understand so I have a storage account in this storage account I have created input container in this input container I have a Delhi CSV and Mumbai CSV file so if I show you this is a Mumbai CSV file this is a Delhi CSV file and what we want we want to combine this data on row wise so for that we are using a union transformation now what I will do I will go to the data factory go to the author will create a data flow so click on the data flow click on the new data flow here we will select a source select that so you can give the name as a Mumbai click on the new data set where your file is blob stress I'll select that click on continue my file is CSV file so I'll select that click on continue and after that we have to create a link service so I'll click on the link service I select the subscription, I select the storage account and after that I will click on the create. So this is how to create data set and link service we already covered in last video also. And after that we have to select the file paths. So my file is available into this input Mumbai CSV so I will select that. Click on the OK. Click on the OK. Now you can see in Mumbai we have a four column. So click on the data flow debug here first and if you will go to the data preview if you will refresh you should be able to see your data you can see I am able to read my Mumbai file now I will click on the add source I will add the second this is the Delhi CSV file so I will give the name as a Delhi 
data set we will create my blob storage my data is available I'll select that csv file i select that and you can use the same link service because we are using a same blob storage account but path is different so in input container my file is the daily csv so i'll select that click on the ok now here in daily also we have a file if you want to preview data click here refresh you should be able to see your data now the daily file i am able to read now what we will do we will perform a union transformation so select here plus select a union now what is the incoming it is asking like incoming is the mumbai and union with the delhi so these two source you want to combine right so incoming string and the union with you have to select the two source so here we have union by option so based on the name if you want to union like uh, in my data set if you will see right we have a month sales profit and location based on the name if you want to union you can select that so we are going with that after that go to the data preview click on the refresh now let's see whether it's coming fine or not now you can see it is union based on the name and you should be able to see mumbai and the delhi file both what we will do we will add a sync in the sync we will create a data set we want to store into the blob storage as a csv file link service we can use the same link service and the file path you have to select so i'll give the file path as output click on the okay okay so this is our union transformation pipeline is ready what i will do i'll go to the pipeline i'll create a new pipeline new pipeline and the data flow to i will try to drag here click on the publish all click on the publish once the publish will complete we will try to run the pipeline you can see publish is completed what i will do click on the add trigger click on the trigger now click on the okay go to the monitor now you can see my pipeline is running let's wait it to be completed now you can see it is succeed now so i'll go to the my storage account i'll go to the output my file should be available you can see this is the part file multiple part file is created but uh, to avoid this what you can do go to the data factory go to the author go to the data flow go to the sync we have a mapping right optimize you can use a single partition after that you can publish and you can run the pipeline then only in a one part file all whole data will get saved so like that we can uh, do that so i hope you got idea that's it in this way. thanks